Hello everybody, this is Elizabeth A. Samar and as you can see by the title and where I'm sitting this is going to be a gamer related video I'm just going to do a tiny bit of a disclaimer before I start because um, in the past when I've done game related videos it has attracted a large audience beyond the ASMR community and I'm just going to explain that this is an ASMR video that's why I'm speaking softly and its main purpose is to be relaxing. I am not a gamer, I just happen to be married to like the biggest gamer. <laughs> um, so this is like not a real game related video. I mean the games are real, it's not like boxes I've painted and you know, I'm, I'm rambling <laughs> already. <laughs> um, but, so yes, um, don't expect like huge knowledge on games and whatnot. But my husband has picked 10 games for me. I'm going to lift them up without ruining them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you them. And I am going to try to explain what they are about by just judging the front cover. I'm not going to read behind it, I'm just going to try to to guess um, like what I believe they're about, so I'm probably going to get them all wrong. I'm going to try to read behind them after I've guessed um, to see if I've guessed correctly. Um, one of them is in Japanese, I believe he said, so I won't be able to tell you that. Um, so I'm just going to start. Um, I hate long intros but I always seem to make long intros. <laughs> you can just... whatever. <laughs> I have so many things to say. I'm so wise. <laughs> um, I'm going to start with this one. I can obviously um, see that it's for a Nintendo 64 um, game. And it is Star Wars Racer. It's an episode one. Um, and I can see Anakin Skywalker and like the the flying elephant thing um, who him and his mother were slaves to. And it says Racer in the title as well. So I think it's like when he he like raced in his little spaceshipy thingy. <laughs> um, I think. I think it's that that you race, like. In the shuttles, spaceships, and yeah, it's for a Nintendo sixty four, so it's pretty old. I mean, I remember when the movie came out. I wasn't. I wasn't that old. I wrote the letter to the actor um, and I like wholeheartedly believed that he would like fly me to America and be my boyfriend. But that never happened so um, I will forever mourn that relationship that never happened. So I'm going to read behind it. Okay. Um, feel the force, um, step up and strap into a supercharged pod racer, that's what they're called, and relieve all the thrills and excitements of furious racing sequences from Star Wars Episode 1. Um, and I believe I am, I got this one right, but I think this was an easy one, like honestly. Um. You can see the, the pictures. It's exactly how I described it. I'm a genius. <sighs> okay, the next one. Um, it's bumpy. It's pretty asmr -y. He did well there. Um, Starcraft and it's from Blizzard 
which he told me is the same company that made um, Warcraft. I used to play that with him like back in the day before we had like real jobs in the child. Um, it's a Starcraft game and he looks like a pilot. So you, this is a game where you are in a plane of some sorts, probably some military thing. It looks sort of like alien creatures behind him. So Starcraft, it sort of says itself in, in the title that it's sort of um, sci-fi-ish. I remember we had the board game, he bought it in like a nerd store in Iceland, but we never, we never um, gamed it or played it because, well, I didn't want to. It just seemed like too intense with all the rules and stuff. I just wanted to play like Monopoly or something. Um, so yeah, you are like a pilot and you are shooting at like UFOs, alien starships something like that but he looks pretty badass and he is ready to kick some ass so I am going to read behind it and see if it is correct okay it is sort of warcrafty it looks it's in Danish, so I sort of have to... Oh. I'm reading it and trying to, like, translate it in my mind. Okay, um, I'm going to read it in Danish. But end to ha commando on over de tyranske nomader, de mystiske protosser eller de grådige særker må du udtænke enestående strategier for at beherske specielenhedernes evner og teknologier. I didn't even understand that even though I'm pretty fluent in Danish. But I'm just going to show you. It looks sort of like Warcraft and maybe um Oh, what's it called? Oh, I don't remember, but um, it looks like you like run around and destroy houses and there's an alien. Um, I think you might have to kill that one. He doesn't look that friendly. Um, and this looks like the guy. Oh, see, he wasn't in like a, an aircraft. He's just wearing like a pretty fancy suit. So, I didn't get that. Oh, it was Diablo I was talking about. <laughs> it, it was right there. That was the game I couldn't like think of. But it looks sort of in that sh sh genre. Or genre, how do you say that? I sound Spanish. Um, so yeah, that was the Starcraft one. I don't even know what platform it's for. Um... Is it for like a PC? Oh, it's for a Windows 95. So it's a PC game, I believe. So I, it's safe to say that I sort of failed that one. Now a creepy one. Um, I can't even call off Chulhu. Pack con nest of the earth. No, dark, <laughs> dark content, consent, content of the earth. You were probably screaming at your computer, and that is not very relaxing, so I apologize. But this looks like a scary dude who is not playing around if I would meet him I would well I would not do anything I'll just 
phrase, I don't know. I'm not like a, I'm not that brave, unfortunately. But he looks like he's in hell. There's like a dark shadowy man over there. And there's a hand, like, he's screaming for help or something. And I'm guessing he is responsible. Um, or perhaps he's like a good guy and, you know, he shouldn't like judge a book by its cover. Even though I'm judging a book by its cover right now. Or like a game by its cover. The Rampol is unbelievable. Okay. Um, I'm going to guess that this is some sort of horror game where you play like some brave dude, it's usually men um, um, and you are trying to figure out why everything is so dark and creepy and you probably want to kill him and him and save this guy so I'm going to let you see it um, not the prettiest face and now I'm going to read behind it. Experience the horror of HP Lovecraft like never before in the most chilling survival horror game ever. Oh, it's a survivor game. Not only do you have to keep Jack Walters alive, you have to keep him from going insane as he encounters ever more terrifying creatures and situations. Insanity affects will ensure you experience every ounce of terror as you seek to uncover the mis mysteries of the great old ones and why it is they want you. So I'm, I mean, I think I got it, like, pretty much. Um, are you relaxed? <laughs> um, it looks terrifying. I would not last a second. I remember I, I, I played like a Harry Potter game when I was younger and there were, I had to save a kitten in a basement and there were like jumping eyes and I just said no, 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 no. That kitten will have to fend for itself. So I, I'm going to give myself like a, like a semi point for that one. Now. Oh, and the platform was Xbox, just to like, be sure it's Xbox, the first one, because there's nothing like after the Xbox, so. Um, for PlayStation 3, what is going on? Lollipop Chainsaw, and there is a um, female who is holding a chainsaw and a lollipop and she is not wearing a lot of clothes but that is her choice and there is a a, a hat I think it's just a hat and then there are zombies coming out of like school lockers and zombie hands um, I think this is like a zombie game where you like play her and she has a chainsaw and she kills the zombies. The head is her useless boyfriend, which, I mean, is it just a head? It is, it is just a head. He has somehow been, he lost his body, but she likes him, so she just drags his head around. And she probably kicks ass because look at her, she's like, whatever, there are zombies and my boyfriend is ahead, so she looks pretty badass. And yeah, you have to be 18 to play this game, which I think is, looks pretty accurate. Um, I'm going to check out if I am corrected. Zombies suck. XO, 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 Juliet. I guess, I guess her name is Juliet. Um, grab a chainsaw and prepare to grind one out. The Twisted Minds of Suta51 
and famed Hollywood director James Gunn collaborated to deliver a titillating ride into a zombie infested bloodbath. And I believe I get a point and a half for this one because I am very corrected. It is she that kicks ass and kills zombies. As you can as you can see. And she sucks on a lollipop while she's doing it. Like not bothered at all. So that was that. The I've done four already. I have six to go. And this is a game for Nintendo DS. And it is nine hours, nine person, nine doors. Are they nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They are nine indeed. And they look sort of anime-ish. It's probably like um like a survivor game. Um, they have nine hours and they have to go like sort of saw one of the saw movies was like sort of like this I'm guessing they are nine people they have nine hours and they have to go through nine doors and probably only one will survive um, and they probably have to do like pretty like fucked up stuff to 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 survive because it's, I can see it's like mature, you have to be 17 or older. Um, so that is pretty much my guess. I'm going to read behind it. Okay, it looks very cinema, cinema sort of behind it. Um, whatever, I'm not making sense. I'm going to read it now. The water is rising. There are only nine doors and time is and time is running out. <sighs> so exciting. You have only nine hours before Junpei and his eight fellow abductors drown. Numerology Numerology Oh you probably I know what this word is but I can't pronounce it. Music composition and logic puzzles are just a few of the thirty obstacles that stand in the way of their freedom. You have to use everything in your environment to get out. Oh. I think I'm sort of like right. I didn't guess like how the play or the game was like what. It's like a puzzle game I believe. I'm going to show you now. Um, I, I believe you play this dude and. And you have to like solve the puzzles but I'm not getting if you can save everyone or if it's like more of yours yeah I don't know if you have to save the others or if it's like um, only one can survive or something I don't know but I think I got it like sort of but not quite as specific as it describes it. So, yes. Here's another one. A Shadow's Tale. And this is for a Wii. Um, I mean, it's Peter Pan, isn't it? It looks pretty Peter Penny, like with the pointed toe and the shadow and then like a Tinker Bellish figure, or perhaps not, but it looks, it's got a sword. It's like an adventure game, and oh, a shadow's tail, and he is a shadow, okay, he is just a shadow. Oh, I think it's like, like a 2D platform, where you like hop around, and like have to hop over things, you know, sort of like um, Mario Bros is, you know, and he has to, like there's a castle, well, he probably has to save like a princess, if, if it's like very cliche, 
Um, but yeah, I think it's like a platform game where you are a shadow and you have to hop around like Mario Pro is and you have to save a princess. I think that. And this is like a little helper. If you like lose lives then you eat her and then you get a life. Or devour her or whatever. <laughs> I'm going to read behind it. I believe I am corrected, sort of. No, I'm not corrected, I am correct. Embark on a shadow's adventure. Journey through a land in shadow. Adventure with a spangle. With a spangle. Adventure with a spangle. I don't know what that is. First thing I'm thinking is like Spanx. Does he need that? Manipulate light. Complete your quest. It doesn't say anything about the princess. But it looks sort of like a platform game where you are a, a shadow. So I think, like, I guess okay. Um, but I don't know what the little... Oh, adventure with a spankle. Is she the spankle? Are you a spankle? Perhaps she's wearing spanks. I have no idea. But yeah, it's for a wee. And you have to be 12 to play it. Probably because of this scary shadow. Yeah, I don't know how good I got it, but like sort of. And here is a PlayStation game, like for the first PlayStation. Um, and it's called Shadow Tower and it has got a naked man who is blindfolded. This cover literally gives me nothing to go on. What is he holding? Can you see that? What is this? Is it a sword? Is it a snake? Is it a snail? It's a shadow tower. Um, so he's like trapped in a tower. He's got nothing except his snail friend. He's blindfolded or bound or, or whatever. And he has to try to get out of the tower. And he'll have to fight many obstacles doing so. And if it gets too hard, his snail friend will help him. Or perhaps if he loses a life, he eats him, the snail. Or whatever it is. Is it the eye? I don't know. But that is, that is my final guess. I'm going to read behind it now. Beware the evil eye behind the door. The prophecy of eternal darkness will be fulfilled. And it looks pretty scary. And there are like stairways. So I am kind of corrected. But still pretty curious about the snail. And you have to like fight monsters to get out of the tower. I'm guessing it doesn't like describe it very well. Um, this cover literally gives nothing away. So that I think it's it's pretty. Um, I think I'm pretty accurate. So I'm just going to put this weird game away. Um, this is for a Nintendo, I believe the first one, and it is Little Samson. I know this one because it's, it's of, um, I, I believe it's kind of rare or like what to have in your collection. 
Um, I mean, I don't know what it's about. I guess little Samson goes around fighting monsters, collecting coins, getting through like levels or something. He doesn't look that special to me. He's just... I don't know. I can't really... I can't come up with a better guess. And... It does not say anything on the bind except caution. Do not store in extreme temperature. I'm going to put it in the oven. Do not immerse in water. I'm going to take a bath with it afterwards. Do not clean with benzene thinners, alcohol or other such solvents. Well, obviously I'm going to do that. So, I believe it's just like a, like this Samson running around. Killing monsters. With no, like, I don't know why he would do that. But that is my guess. But I know this one is pretty special to my husband. Because apparently it's it's a good um, game to have in your collection. Mm, the next one. I know he picks out these like games just because of the, the one I talked about in the um, game room tour. Um, <laughs> it looks like anime porn. It is Automedius Excellent. Um, and there is a anime girl in a dress. She is holding something that looks like a space motorcycle thing. And I believe she rides around with her other friends. You can see them in the background. And shoots at the bad guys. Um, it's like a sci-fi anime shooter game. It's for Xbox 360. I'm not going to stop saying it even though it bothers you. Um, and that I, I, I don't know. Um, what else it, it could be. So, I'm just going to read it. Oh, is this the one? I can't. I think I'm pretty accurate if you look at the pictures behind it. Um, it looks like they're like flying around, but I'm not seeing them like shoot bad guys. Perhaps those little planes are the bad guys and here she is like kicking ass. Um, it's just copyright things. And uh, other than that, it's in languages I do not read. So I'm, I'm going to have to like leave it at that. I believe so. And then the last one. This is for PlayStation 2. It's called ICO or ISO. ISO. And there are like two people like running away. Looks like this one has a giant penis or a sword. I'm not quite sure. And he is dragging someone. Um. It depends what they're doing if that is like a penis or a sword, but I'm guessing it's a sword. So they are probably trying to fight something and run from something. It looks like a city and it's pretty vacant, so perhaps there's been like a... There's been a war, an atomic bomb has exploded and they happen to survive. And now they are running from something, the government, they are running from the government. And they are trying to survive. 
and you it's is it a platform is it a 2d platform it looks sort of it's a 2d platform i'm going to say that oh no it's not a cursed boy lost in a place of shadows a young girl consumed by sorrow and loneliness perhaps it is a penis uh, together they must find a way to escape but their prison is vast and holds many secrets every twisting staircase creaking door and towering pillar is part of a larger puzzle its torch and shaft of light only serves to illu illuminate another mystery their path is dark and treacherous treacherous i don't know <laughs> but somehow they know they will find a way out a back a way back to the light um it looks like this you are this dude i believe and you are dragging this um girl around it's not a sword and it is not a penis it is like a like a club of some sort and i think it's puzzles and you might have to fight some things or like figure out a way out of a room that sort of game i believe so yes those were the things So, those were the 10 games he picked out for me. Um, I think I did pretty okay, I guess. Um, I hope you weren't like frustrated when you knew the game and I was like way off. Um, but I hope you liked it and I hope you found it like sort of relaxing. Um, my ASMR videos are not like very structured or... Um, like very ASMR -y. I like them to be sort of raw most of my videos are like my first uh, take and um, I find them being more spontaneous and, and more real like that those are the videos I've been watching myself lately so um, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you are well and I will see you guys again soon bye bye